Hi, uh, I am Skeptical Spectrum, uh, daughter of Judith and Lavinia Skeptrum uh, of the Spectrum of the uh, Ohio Virginia Spectrum family, um, and I wanted to tell you how loud and proud I am about that. I think I just did. Um, so what we're going to talk about today is that I don't think I'm a very good debater um, in terms of like vocally. Like when I was a kid, I was so talkative that I could probably and, and just constantly trying to think faster than everybody else that I used to just bother people. But I also used to uh, sort of win sort of like insult contests that shouldn't have been happening anyway. And I did that for whatever reasons. Um, I remember like just being able to think quickly, but being just a nervous wreck the whole time. The whole idea was I can't lose, I can't lose or something like that. And so at some point, here, I'm gonna get my little light here so you can see the beauty of me. I um, intentionally tried to calm down. And I learned a lot of techniques about how to calm down and how to not turn disagreements into um, conflicts necessarily. And that was a very good thing to learn. I think I made myself a person who can be calmer when he wants to be. And um, somewhere along the line, though, um, you know, I have strong beliefs about how people should treat people, how communities should treat other communities, and how communities should treat people uh, within their communities, right? So I hate to say it, but whenever you're talking about that, you're talking about politics. And whenever you're talking about people, therefore, you're talking about politics. And probably when you're talking about any group organism, you're talking about politics. So... Uh, I'm really embarrassed because I wish I had those kind of chops, sort of. Or what I really wish was that I had another body, this body, and then one just like it over here. And this one would be constantly reading all the information in the world that's out there in print and discerning whether that information is any good, valid, you know, peer reviewed or whatever kind of validations. Um, whether it's logical, whether it's uh, devoid of fallacies, just drink in all kinds of information because some people just do that, like they by osmosis. And other people are just really good at running circles around you when you're disagreeing and particularly in public, I would say, because if I'm just disagreeing with someone in private, I can slow down and ask them what they're thinking, not in a way to win some kind of a debate, but just to understand them better, which is actually the higher road, you know? Um, and, and I thought, hey, once I learned to do that, when I, once I learned to, to, to uh, how do you say, be an active listener and really care and even maybe improve my relationships around that, um, I thought I'd found like the Holy Grail, but I, I realize now there's no the Holy Grail. There are many skills people need to to um, to learn, including conflict skills. Because although I think all people are neither good nor bad, there is harm being caused by some of us, or maybe all of us are causing harm that we don't know by our attitudes, um, by what we do to people because we're usually protecting ourselves and we may be causing harm to other people, by the things we don't know we could be doing, uh, not being empowered by knowledge and um, other resources, really, to go out there and do work that's going to improve things for everybody, right? So, I, but I have learned that conflict is another thing to engage in, particularly if it's already happening. And I perceive a power differential on this planet. 
which is probably inherent to life, right? But human beings have this ability to analyze the whole system that made us, right? And we can do things like go from totalitarianism with one single dictator to uh, checks and balances with different um, uh, parts of a government conflicting with each other so that they can come to agreements that aren't uh, intractable, that there's always going to be room for change, which might mean room for improvement. But I'm going to tell you, I'm particularly scared of two people that are like internet um, darlings. And one of them is uh, Ben Shapiro, because he can talk like this, he can just say a lot of sentences and he doesn't even stutter and he doesn't, and they're always complete sentences, even though he's saying stupid things very fast, he's saying them very fast. And he sounds pretty smart because he actually is pretty smart, but he actually, stupid people, smart people say stupid things. So did you see how I kind of just messed up right there? He doesn't do that. He doesn't do that. He, he has some kind of automatic connection between whatever is making up boilerplate combinations in his head, going straight to his vocal apparatus, and he just shoots it out. I would be terrified of being in a public conversation with him because eventually I would be like 20 minutes into it, I'd be exhausted at trying to think around what he even said, you know, and that's probably a strategy. The other one I said, I don't know if I said was Jordan Peterson because he uses his, I have a PhD thing like a cudgel and he uses his, I also have emotions too thing as like a whip. It's, it's like he has this, he, maybe for just some people, I'm, I'm sure most people don't fall for it, but I find it hard to deal with the apparent authority he gets from position, you know? In fact, his life, his public life is partly, I would say at least half, um, dictated by uh, what we call an appeal to authority. He has a PhD, he works at a university. And so therefore, what he says can't be questioned. Uh, the third thing he does is he speaks in aero esoteric mumbo jumbo. And that's just some, I love that stuff when it's done for good. But when he starts doing it, and says, like, we can treat women incorrectly if we want to. We can treat this other people. I mean, we can. We can treat other people poorly. Um, but we don't want to. We meaning those who don't want to, you know. Um, and that's, like, right, right, you can tell I'm even speechless right now. I, I'm, I'm, like, just... Seeing his face in my mind makes me say, how do I talk to this guy? He, he talks in what people, uh, what's the word? I forget, a psychobabble. Even though he's a true psychologist, um, he talks in uh, pseudoscience, even though he's in touch with the science. Now, I will tell you that when I talk about science, I'll tell you right now, and I think I try to tell, tell you in my video, I'll say as best I can remember from the study I do, and the attempt I have to keep up with the empirical literature um, on, on uh, various topics, but, you know, my particular specialty area, um, I, uh, I'm human. And I think every person that is arguing and debating, uh, probably maybe we should slow down and we should all say, listen, we're not going to come to a conclusion here because we're all kind of using our memory to do this, right? And um, you, you can't trust that. You should, you know, maybe all debates should start and end with, go check out things yourself. But maybe all debates should start and end with how to evaluate the sources of information you're going to check in with. Uh, speaking of checking in, I have to check in to see if uh, this person is showing up uh, still not there. 
So um, I guess what I'm saying is these guys could dance circles around me, but I believe I have a point of view that is more inclusive, uh, therefore more likely to make the world as a whole feel like a better place for humans and other organisms. Um, and I make these videos sort of to feel that social pressure to say something and have a little bit of discipline. Um, it's like having a monologue, but it's almost social, right? Even if I wasn't going to put this on YouTube, um, I would still be feeling that pressure because there's a camera on me and there's a mic on me, right? And that's why I use these because it helps me sort out my thoughts. You know, I, I, I create an outer dialogue which is more chosen and more disciplined and more organized than the various inner dialogues and monologues I have going on. So let me just say in short, it's not just about me, this video. It's about me, Jordan, and what's his name? Ben, right? Um, I think that um, Ben Shapiro is is basically kind of like a racist, misogynist. Um, he has one vision of a valid person in his mind, and that is him and any, any possible carbon copy of that, right? Um, and then Jordan Peterson, I think his agenda, and this is a mind reading fallacy that I'm committing here, is that he's interested in supporting a, how do I, it's, it's like, it's hard to put my finger on because that's Jordan Peterson in a nutshell. He says a lot of things without saying anything because I think maybe that's how he wants to be identified as being like in the apex of society. Uh, somewhat like a scholar like the tip top of all scholarship, scholardom, and, and, and sort of male respect. You know, you get the, you get the respect of being a true male because you've gotten way up here. And you can talk about personal responsibility and strength and all that kind of stuff. And, um, and so, and so, yeah, and, 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 yeah, and, and not, not, I can't say not pulling any punches, but not taking any crap, you know, nobody's going to change my course. My belief is, I think it's healthy to let people change your course. And, um, I wish I was like a master of disaster on the, on the, on the, uh, debate podiums. Um, but I'm not, I don't think I will be, I, I'll, I'll try it one day. If there, if there's, I can't find debates in my area here, like live debates. And, uh, if I did, I know I would spend like the first seven months with a headache until I got up to speed. Um, so, uh, but I think I have something valuable to say. Maybe I'll ask you to interact with this YouTube post by writing down how you feel about debating with people on important topics. Do you feel powerful? Do you feel powerless? Do you feel it's wrong to do so? Um, do you think it's just another way of people being mean to each other? Or do you think it's a way to create new knowledge because your ideas and their ideas bang together and eventually like turn into something different? You know, they create uh, what, what thesis, antithesis, and then you synthesize brand new ideas together by arguing. That's what I believe. Um, but that doesn't mean that you have to believe what I believe. And I know that you don't care what I believe. But bye-bye. Um,